Hi, I'm Elizabeth. And I'm David. Together we are the, the Leos, Leos at Large. Large. And in, we are coming to you from our new home in Tucson, which we are absolutely loving. So for squinting, because <laughs> it's so bright and sunny here, which is amazing compared to the Northwest where we came from. So today in our video, we're going to talk about the Barcelo property, the Maya Palace. We did an extensive video series on the comparison between the Grand Palladium and the Barcelo property. And we were really leaning toward the Grand Palladium. Right, because of the beach mostly and some of the outdoor eating. We had a lot of pluses. But, but Barcelo was fantastic still. Yeah, we, that was our first trip to Mexico together and my first trip to Mexico. And I just, I absolutely mm -hmm. fell in love with it. But we just thought it'd be fun to do one just on Barcelo so you yep. can get a more focused uh, look at it and enjoy it as much as we do. Yeah, and see some of the unique features because it had a few uh, of the different ideas that they built into it that were spectacular. And you'll see those on the video. Really great. So we'll um, show you this and hope you enjoy it. And maybe you'll make, take a trip That's there right. someday. And just realize there are six complexes or resorts all put together here. We're on one of them, which is the palace. The other end is a brand new one for adults only. So when you do go online and look at Barcel, you see there's a series of complex, different resorts all together. But the Maya Palace we like because it had some unique opportunities to use and choose some of the nicer upscale restaurants and some of the facilities only unique to that property. But they're all connected with an adjoining boardwalk and the beach. And again, this video, um, all the pictures you'll see are from 2019, pre-COVID. And February. we thought this would be really timely because everything's opening up again. And I'm sure people are looking to travel more. So, yeah. so enjoy it. Um, it. We highly recommend Barcelo. So enjoy the video. See you mm -hmm. next time. So now we're going to start talking about Barcelo itself. We did a lot of research before we chose this property. And we're so glad we did. We stayed for seven nights eight days and we didn't want to leave it was so wonderful that's right and we explored the beaches the pools of which you're going to see a little bit later on the video it's just a beautiful tropical setting and we highly recommend it for people that are interested in staying in such a place we probably split our time 50 50 between the pool and the yes we go back and forth depending upon if it was windy we would go, we'd go to the pool if it was calm we'd go back to the beach in fact, here's Elizabeth at the beach. <laughs> now the Barcelo Maya Palace part that we're in is in the upper right. It's more of the upscale. You are able to go to some really nice, beautiful restaurants. The rest of the complex is about four others, and they're also wonderful as well. And here we are driving in to the complex itself. This was a double-decker bus that was really specifically for taking you around the property. They had a little mini ball. They had a disco uh, oh. spa. Yep, to the spa. I think you take there was a dolphin performance area, and also the area where you could rent um, jet skis, yes. catamarans, etc. So great access. So here we are checking in to the main the lobby. Lobby. So here we are out by the pool at the Grand Palace. Maya, take a little panoramic shot around here most amazing pool all individual little tiles and i'm only showing you about a half of what you can see the ocean just beyond the swim up bar you know kitty area in the background they have these wonderful little covered palapas in the water right near uh, the hotel part which has the pool view there's also an adult pool only in a, just a little bit of a walk from here, which is wonderful with covered cabanas you can rent that are uh, just beautiful for sitting in the day and getting out of the sun. A lot of nice, wonderful lounge chairs around there with its own little bar area. It's quieter if you want something more quiet. This is really just an incredible area. There's so much detail uh, put into designing this um, whoever did the architecture was just amazing at night this place is just transformed i'll show a little video in the evening tonight we take one but it's just beautifully done so wonderful pool setting there's never anybody here as you can see there's a lap pool over there an area where they do aerobics and games for the kids and just beautiful little areas it's all regular warm uh, the water is warm by the sun they have fountains as you can see and bubblers and different things that 
make it very interesting uh, for hanging out but this is a Saturday in a busy time of the year and you can see it's just wonderful being here. We had a very long flight in from the northwest so we got to the hotel after dark put our luggage in and immediately went out and walked around and we came upon this pool area that was so beautiful and spectacular at night we just stopped what we were doing and we laid on the lounge chairs by the pool and enjoyed this beautiful crystal blue water no one else was around we looked at the stars and just really had a nice beginning to our experience at Barcelo And you can see from these pictures how spectacular it is at night. I'm at the main pool at the Maya Palace. And as you can see, it's one huge expansive area. And right across the way is a, a lap swimming pool that's never used. So it's very nice for swimmers. And then the beach is just beyond that. And then there's a swim up bar. You can either swim up to get your drinks or you can walk around to the other side where they have a walk-up bar. They will make you anything you want. They have an espresso machine, uh, blenders, slushy drinks. They'll pour it in a giant uh, uh, go cup for you. Whatever you want, it's free pour. There's no regulation. And I'm drinking a pina colada. Okay, here we are at the adult pool. This is the adult pool. This is the place where you can rent the palapas you can see over there. It can be rented for the day, about $20. There's the bar area with the bathroom in it. There's some bubbly water. You can see people have lounge chairs down in front of the palapas and there's places to relax in front of it. This is just absolutely beautiful setting. You say adults only, so it's much quieter, much more peaceful back here. You have still all the amenities of having the bar and the bathroom and just a fantastic area to enjoy it. Okay, here we are on the pathway that goes to the restaurants looking back toward the main pool area right there and you can see the beach there's a total of five different complexes along here one after another the palace that we're staying in is the most expensive but what you're seeing is the beach of each of the other pools going all the way down to that brand new resort that's being built on the end sweeping around to the ocean spectacular a little rough here today, but they're still out there doing scuba diving. Temperature is about 82 degrees, just wonderful out. This is uh, the buffet area here, one of several buffets that they have with wonderful little areas to sit outside to enjoy that. There's always enough food for everybody. Swinging back out here toward the ocean, you can just see the beach lining up down the distance. There's an area for dolphins, there's a nice spa, you can rent out sailboats, wave runners, kayaks, other things, and you can see how the people are enjoying just floating in the water. The other day we were out there, we saw turtles, there's all kinds of fish swimming around you all the time there, they're probably used to being fed by people. And it's just another spectacular day here in paradise. Good morning, I'm Elizabeth. and. I am at the Hacienda Buffet at the Maya Palace and I thought I'd like to give you an idea of what we would do for breakfast, which is probably the best option since there's only a couple anyway. So 
So this buffet has just about everything you could possibly want. They will make you a cappuccino if you ask for it. Any kind of smoothie that you want. Pastries, meats, and I have never had any problem with my stomach at this buffet. So I highly recommend it. And you can see sitting out on a beautiful veranda. It's about uh, 8.30 in the morning. And the wait staff is amazing. They cater to your every need. Good morning. I'm sitting here at the buffet at the Grand Palace Maya uh, Hotel, which is beautiful. Sitting outside in the veranda having breakfast. They have many buffets for breakfast, lunch, and dinner. Behind us over here are the beautiful restaurants, the Brazilian Steakhouse, the French uh, wonderful restaurant, a Caribbean restaurant. This is an amazing place. The service is unbelievable, just fantastic, catered to every needs. You always have grills you can come to throughout the day. Food is plentiful, it's just amazingly beautiful. The setup, the salads, uh, different nights, like Italian night, Mexican night. You can sit inside, you can sit out here and enjoy the beautiful weather. It's just a fantastic place. The food really is quite superb for buffets. Never want for anything. So this has just been an amazing time. So here we are at the evening smorgasbord. This time it's the Americana. See, American flags, they always have some theme night like Mexican, Italian, all the wonderful desserts. They have grilling stations over here for Mexican grilling. They have pasta grilling stations. There's the meat grilling where they'll grill ribeyes. All the different assorted cold cuts, veggies, fruits. There's a whole area for little kids over there, mini foods. There's the pasta grilling area. Lady makes a nice pasta, pizzas, roast beef carving, hot foods. So many choices, wonderful. Look at what a beautiful job they did here with carvings for the different salads. Clever. Every night it's like this. They have this beautiful layout of fish and shrimp and meats and pastas and rices. And here's the grilling station for the ribeyes. And it's like this every day, morning, afternoon, and evening. It's really a wonderful place to come to eat. In addition to researching where the best place to stay in Mexico would be, we ended up booking our trip through directly through the hotel rather than booking.com or one of those. They gave us a great rate and they also gave us credits to the property. So we used some of the credits at the spa on site, which was absolutely gorgeous. You'll see the aromatherapy showers in the back. Those you just decide which scent you want and you can get in there together and just stand there and it's kind of fun and silly. And there is a hot tub. There's David in the hot tub enjoying it. Um, quite beautiful. I, there was no one there again while we were there. This was 2019 and outdoors was this beautiful pool. So secluded and so beautiful. Really a nice place to just stay for a couple of hours and then go on back to the beach. Okay, so just summing it up, Barcelo had many wonderful aspects. Some of the things that we're, let's review right now. What are some of the things you like best about Barcelo? I just love the elegance of it. It had a beautiful property. I love that they had a promenade that you could walk from one property all the way down to the other end. At yep. night, it was beautiful. It was lit up beautifully. Yep, that's a good point. And if you don't like the beach right in front of your property, you can walk down to another part. Some parts are better for beach, sand, 
for going out for swimming. Others were better for snorkeling. So you get to pick and choose. We really loved it. There was not a lot of eating on the beach, which would have been nice. Yeah, it would have been nice. Um, but the, the pools were spectacular. The huge pool with a swim up bar close to the beach, you wouldn't want anything better than that, except the adult pool that we stayed at. As you saw, that was tremendous. That was one of the highlights for me of the entire property. That was totally beautiful. So this is called the Riviera Maya, and here we are down on the edge. This is actually near where the spa and the dolphin part were, but this is an incredible complex. And like, like we said, it extends all the way down to, there's a brand new section um, that is for adults only that you'll find if you go looking for it. So you've got your choice of all the different parts. The Maya Palace where we stayed, there's a colonial, the tropical, the Caribbean, the beach. And there's so much to choose from. But we really did like best the one that we stayed at for the price and the elegance of it. What was interesting was there was a huge event going on at a outdoor concert. And so the people were coming in to the hotel, checking in. And even with all of those people flooding in, this property was still very relaxed and quiet and not a lot of people there. But as soon as we walked down the property to some of the other hotels, they were very busy. But this one just had, there was something about it. It just stayed quiet and lovely. And That's a good point. If you really want to be partying and loud, you might want to pick one of the other properties next door to the palace, like the Tropical, the Colonial, the Beach. But if you want it nice and calm and quiet, then definitely the Maya Palace was the best option. Well, how many stars are we going to give the Maya Palace? I'm going to give it four out of five stars. And the only reason we didn't like it the most was the beach could have been a little bit nicer. And it would have been nice if we would have had food available, like we found at Grand Palladium later on, right out there at the beach 24 hours a day. But that's about it. Other than that... Barcelo was really pretty, pretty Highly spectacular. Highly recommend it. Yep, give it a try. Especially if it's your first trip yep. to Mexico. Can't go wrong with it. Can't go wrong. Until Thanks next for time. listening. <laughs> <laughs> Bye. This is Leo's at Large signing off. <laughs>